how to change a backdrop color of our document in Pixamator Pro. First, you will need to create your document. So select a size that you are interested in and simply hit create here at the bottom. After your brand new document is loaded, now it's time to change the backdrop color. By default, it will be just a white backdrop. As you can see, it's an image layer with the white color. You can switch over the visibility of this layer. But if you right click on it and try to delete it, as you may notice, it's gray out because our document need at least one layer. Let's try to recolor this layer by selecting a bucket on the right side. This tool is called Color Fill. Click on it. Then we can select a new color. And we can simply tap on our white layer. Here it is, we got a brand new color here. Alternatively, we could add a new layer. And on this new empty layer, we can use a shape. As you may guess, I will need a basic shape. Let's go with this rectangle. So I draw the rectangle. The big benefit of this is that rectangle is actually a vector object. So I can easily modify the fill color here. We can even fill it with gradient like that or even pattern. Let's stick with the solid color. I got this new color now and I can just simply stretch this all around. We can zoom out a bit to see the edges of the document. And now we can just drag it all around. We got a proper vector backdrop. Can we now remove the layers here? We can delete this one. Can we delete the original layer? Yes, we can because we add additional one. So now we got only one layer. It's a vector layer, so it's super easy to change the backdrop color anytime. And you can also lock it. So click the locker here in the layer panel. And now this layer is locked, so you will not select, modify or move this layer by mistake. We can put this tab on the top of that layer. So that's how you can easily change the color of your new blank document in Pixelmator Pro. I hope this short tutorial was helpful. I will see you in the next lesson.